Hey, what's up guys? It is Luke Beller. So today we have a salary cap update video. Haven't had one of these in a while. Earlier in the offseason, it probably was one of the most prevalent situations before this Aaron Rodgers debacle sort of went crazy. It was always, you know, what is our salary cap space? How in the world are we going to get under our salary cap? And the Packers have basically figured it out. They finagled tons of things this offseason. And this morning they come in and make a move that basically frees up some more cap space. Coming out from Field Yates, he said the Packers restructure the contract of starting DL Dean Lowry converting $3.11 million of his $4.1 million salary into a signing bonus per source. This creates $2.488 million in cap space for Green Bay to make use of as needed for 2021. So Dean Lowry has his base salary that was supposed to be $4.1 million in 2021. Pretty nice salary if you ask me. They are converting that into a signing bonus, freeing up $2.48 million of cap space by basically restructuring um, Dean Lowry's contract. And if we take a look at this entire offseason... There were tons of questions by me as well. You know, how are the Packers going to get under this cap space? One of the things they really did was come in and restructure lots of different players' contracts, converting lots of different things to signing bonuses, basically freeing up space for 2021 and pushing the money to further years. So some of the deals that were reworked, we had David Bautiari, Zedaria Smith, Preston Smith, Adrian Amos, Billy Turner, Mason Crosby, and Devin Funches. And now Dean Lowry is coming in and getting his contract basically restructured to free up more cap space for 2021. And according to Sports Illustrated, right now the Packers are about $4.71 million under the cap space um, after this Dean Lowry move. So they have some, you know, some more money to you know move around, do whatever they want to do for the rest of the offseason and coming into the 2021 season. And with the Packers basically restructuring lots of these deals, of course it's freeing up cap space for 2021. The only thing is it is pushing that money into future years. So right now, if we take a look at the projected salary cap, sort of what the Packers are projected at for 2022, right now, according to Over the Cap, the Packers are $33.7 million over the 2022 projected salary cap of about $203 million. So they are way over that salary cap right now at the moment. But as we saw this offseason, we started off pretty, you know, 20, what, 20 to $30 million over the salary cap. And Gudikins was basically able to come in, finagle things, and so I'm guessing that's what they will continue to do going on to the future. But that is it for the Packers news so far today. You guys want to see more Packers news? Feel free to subscribe, you know, that little red button. Feel free to like click it if you're not subscribed. Um, I would be happy if you would subscribe. And if you like this video, drop a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. The algorithm is like, okay, they like this video. Let's push it out to some more Packers fans. So if you do, would do that, that would be awesome. But thank you guys for watching as always, and go Pack Go, baby.